Well, it's back to the work week because you can tell because our vlog's starting in the nighttime. <laughs> but we are back at our, uh, I want to say this is like, since we've moved here, probably like our go to resort. Yeah, well, there's so much to do and see, and it's so close to everything. We're at the boardwalk. We're at the boardwalk beach and yacht club, but we have an interesting night because. Um, we've made some friends and one of them is going to give us a call here in about 30 minutes. We're going to do an interview. He's a blogger out in California. Yeah. So we won't give too many details now because we'll ask him about like permissions about when he's going to post it and when we can share it with all of you. But he's going to call us and give us a little interview about us two and this move here to, Ca to Florida, to California, to Florida. So we're going to find a nice corner to hang out in before that. And then I'm going to go run because I'm stupid. And I'm going to read. And I think my legs still hurt, but I'm gonna go on a little run. Yeah. Not six I miles. Don't think it's stupid to run. Just I a think little run. Continue. Just a little run. Yeah. I just am scared of shin splints. Never had them before. I never want them. <laughs> Tell us as soon as we can about when it's going to go out, what it's going to be about, and everything. It's super exciting. Very honored and humbled that that's cool. happening. It's a good conversation. Time flies. Time flies. We say it time and time again that Disney people just get each other. Yes. But and it's beyond Disney, too. It really yeah, is. Yeah, it's just it's, nice people. Yeah. But look at this. This right here. I'm going to go run around this lake. It's 0.8 miles around. It's 0.8 miles around. Uh, We'll see how far I go. I don't know how honestly I'll feel until I start if you running. If go, there's just no telling how far I go. She said that yesterday and I went six miles, so she probably shouldn't say that <laughs> no, today. No, you're going once. But once, I just feel like that's not far enough. Maybe okay. I'll take some divots and won't tell you about it. Or I'll go at the boardwalk, and so you can meet me over there and you can do like one. Like you can go through here and then go back to the boardwalk. Like do one, and then continue and go to the border. Oh, like yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. did was you know tell the boardwalk that I was going to be doing there when we parked um, and as I was a really good view of illumination now if you're like me when you like to go on a Disney vacation I really like you know to end my last night at um, watching my favorite fireworks or um, you know I don't know enjoying one of my favorite things and too often um, you know you have limitations when you buy your tickets. You know, maybe you don't want, you can't afford seven day park hopper. I know I couldn't whenever I came down. Um, and so it's just kind of nice to know that there are ways of seeing other, um, you know, big ticket or things that you wouldn't want to miss on a trip without actually using a park ticket. So, oh, there he is. <laughs> um, yeah, so instead of, you know, using an entire park day, um, I mean, you, maybe you get a hopper and you spend your day at Epcot and you go somewhere else at night. Um, you can still see illuminations on a day that you don't go into the park by just, you know, watching it over there. So, I don't know, I hope that whenever we show little things like that, um, that that can kind of help you shape your trip so that you don't necessarily miss out on something just because you can't, you know, have that many days in the park um, or your vacation's not long enough, you know, there's ways to work around it and um, just to make your trip special and maybe that'll be one of your favorite memories. So I got all comfy cozy in that
that spot that I showed you. But Peter walked in the door and it was too toasty in there. So now we're out here. I'm gonna read, because I didn't get to read it all. But she's not telling you that I lost her and I ran around here and I walked up the whole boardwalk. I texted her. She must have been getting comfy cozy because she didn't respond. And then I was like, Can you that? just imagine me like, Tra -la -la. Yeah. And I was like, where the heck is she? Then I called her and she's like, I'm inside the boardwalk. And I was like, I cannot sit in there. Too red faced, too sweaty because, okay, so I did two and a half laps around the Crescent Lake here by Boardwalk Beach Club and Yacht Club and that was two miles. But there is an, a huge uphill by <laughs> a swan and dolphin and that is rough to run up. It is rough. Like the this same... video if we should get a lava smoothie. <laughs> like this video if we should get a lava smoothie tonight when you're watching this tomorrow for us. We'll just have to see the future. <laughs> She's looking for one right now. Oh, oh, oh. Don't mind little I'm gonna, I'm grandma gonna... grandma biscuit over here. <laughs> I'm Mrs. Nesbitt. Um, <laughs> you are Mrs. Nesbitt right I'm now. I'm going to have all the little kids come up here and I'll read them a story and then the boardwalk will hire me and I'll just be the Disney storyteller lady that they'll like tweet You'll be talk about as an urban legend in a hundred years. Storytelling Nesbitt. We have an issue, and it's we have a hard time. If we're not at like a Disney place, we have a hard time sitting sitting still. And it's mostly and me, awake. but it's also Sarah. Yeah, I'm the sitting still. Sarah's the awake part. Yeah. <laughs> because we're like, all right, Sarah's like, I'm in a blanket kind of mood. I'm like, let's just go home then, get on the couch and watch TV or something like that. Then I'm like, oh wait, well let's stuff our mystery buttons for our packs. And Sarah's like, but I could print the labels and we could start stuffing the packs. I'm like yeah, but nothing about that says blanket mood. So we conceded to going home, watching Descendants, because our neighbors, our, the little girls that we babysat before, were very upset. Insisted that we were, They were very upset we've never seen Descendants, so they actually let us borrow it. So we're gonna go home, watch Descendants with a blanket, and stuff mystery buttons, but not the labels or, or stuff the packs. So we didn't end up watching Descendants. No, 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 no. Or doing anything for playing crazy. Or doing anything, but sometimes you need that. We just kinda hung out I got Eve right here with me. Sarah was talking to her mom. And now it's kind of late, so I think we're going to go to bed because it's late. What do you say, Sarah? I'm not ready. Sarah's not ready as her eyes are half asleep. Vlog wasn't too crazy today, but thank you for following along with it. We appreciate it. We can't wait to share with you what we were on the phone talking about earlier with all of you. It should be interesting. And Christine. Dina is nowhere closer to having Violet, but there's a game plan with the doctor, so it looks like we'll be in Chicago next week. Um, I don't think we're going to book airline tickets just yet, because you just never know with this kind of things, but latest, we'll be there next uh, Tuesday or Wednesday is the latest. So, we'll have some fun vlogs, uh, different ones from Christmas time. I already have a few, few ideas up my sleeve. And then, of course, some footage of a ba of a brand new baby. But with that... It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>